Hi guys, Pizza here. Today we are going to break down Lu Mao Xing's skills to as far as we know, and then use him in Ponape Museum Legend Third Floor later on. But note that everything is subject to change since it's still on closed beta test server. And also special thanks to Kremisai and Bacon for the skill translation. Now let's get into it. First, let's have a brief skill analysis. For his core passive, culinary genius, Lu Mao Xing's skills is channeling and is called cooking process, and it can be interrupted anytime. During the cooking process, he takes less damage as the core levels up, with a maximum of 70% at level 7. And by the end of channeling, there is a 50% chance to trigger cooking success. In level 4, the cooking success chance increases by 1% for every 5 luck, so it's advisable to allocate your stats to luck up to 250 points, so the cooking chance will reach 100%. In level 7, Lu Mao Xing's cooking process cannot be interrupted, and while cooking, Lan Fei will also cook an identical dish at your current location. As for the purpose of core level 7, I will show comparisons between levels 6 and 7 as we discuss the skills. The first skill is Great Magic Panda Tofu, which is for every 0.5 seconds, he deals fire and water magic attack within a 5 meter radius for 5 seconds, with a 50% chance of applying burn. If the core is level 7, Lan Fei appears upon using the skill, resulting in more DPS. When the cooking succeeds, there will be two dishes on the ground that will deal fire magic damage to enemies who walk by within its range. But note that he does not count as a summon. Also, he will not follow you when you move. He will just stay at the current location where you cast the skill. Next one is a sustained skill, Miracle Comet Fried Rice, which is for every 0.5 seconds. You and allies within an 8 meter radius will gain one stack of HP shield. The cooking duration ends after 1.5 seconds and can stack up to six times. If the core is only level 6, it will only stack up to 3 times, because it only stacks for every 0.5 seconds, and the cooking duration is 1.5 seconds, while with core level 7, it instantly stacks up to 6 times, because again, Lan Fei will also use the identical skill that you use in your current location. And when the cooking succeeds, shield duration is extended to 60 seconds, and can now also absorb HP loss. The next one is a buff skill, Treasure Mountain Dragon Pot, which is for every 0.5 seconds, you and allies within an 8 meter radius will increase damage and magic damage by 10%, which lasts for 120 seconds, and then the cooking duration ends after 1.5 seconds. Same skill comparison as Miracle Comet Fried Rice. If the core is only level 6, the buff can only stack up to 3 times, because it only stacks for every 0.5 seconds for 1.5 seconds. If the core level is 7, it instantly stacks to 5 times, so a total of 50% damage and magic damage increase. Plus, when cooking succeeds, there will be a bonus, 30% cooldown and skill delay reduction, which lasts for 10 seconds. To get the buff of the dish, you can just walk by it. Now for another sustained skill, Red Sea Beam, which restores 5% max HP and SP to yourself and allies within a 12 meter radius. Basically, if the core is level 7, there will be 2 ticks of HP and SP restore. But again, Lan Fei will only stay at the location where you cast the skill, so the second heal will only be within his radius. Next skill is Crystal Phoenix, which grants 5 seconds of death immunity to yourself and allies within an 8 meter radius. And when the cooking succeeds, there will be a dish on the ground, which can be consumed up to 3 times, with a maximum of 1 consumption every 7 seconds. Just walk by within the dish radius to gain the effect. Lastly, a debuff skill, Great Cosmos Shumai. Enemies within a 5 meter radius cannot attack, and when the cooking succeeds the enemies will be transformed into Shumai making them unable to move and attack for 3 seconds. Now let's look at stats, gears, runes, and depo. First for stats, max out into boost magic attack and HP shield value and then luck for magic crit damage, as well as to increase the cooking chance. Then allocate the rest to STR because of his passive skill, Mobile Cooking, which enables him to move while cooking, and then for every 3 STR, increases move speed by 1%, and max HP by 500 for every 1 STR. As for the damage modifiers, I already have meal bees here and 6 pieces food. Again, this is on close beta server, so there is a bonus 10k magic attack and 20% magic penetration when inside an instance. 
And another reason why the magic attack is high is due to his passive skill, Master Chef, which is for every food. Mao gains 5% max HP and 10% magic attack, and can be stacked up to 6 times, so a total of 30% max HP and 60% magic attack. Now going back to damage modifier stats, I'm just gonna list down the translation so it will be easier. Before we proceed, note that this setup is only made for this video. I just tailored it to at least trim down the damage modifiers, even just for a little. Now going back, here's the equipment setup. Just to reach the 200% ignore magic defense and have decent damage to finish the instance. I know the stats is still high for some players due to the instance bonus stats. Honestly, it's hard to solo the instance if we try to downgrade the items more, because you really need someone to taunt the MVPs. As for the arcane runes, I only equipped Galaxy Rune and Spirit Rune because of the debuff and SP drain of the MVPs, and then Frenzied Rune just for the bonus HP of the rune. By the way, here is the Handbook Depot. It's 100% Magic Depot, and then 3.6k Magic Attack. Now let's head on to the Instance Run. For food, I took two pieces of each. Original will ice cream for the damage to MVP, and then Original will barbecue and Prantra Royal Salad for the anti-fatal. Before starting, buff up Treasure Mountain Dragon Pot for the 50% magic damage, and then followed by Miracle Comet Fried Rice for the 6 stacks of HP shield. The plan was to burst down Pakarani first so that we can use pots, then just kite around when under Disarm debuff, and remember to use Miracle Comet Fried Rice for the HP shield so you won't get bursted down by the Meteor. A little tip for Great Magic Panda Tofu. You can cast it and then recast it to readjust Lawn Fei at your current location to deal more AoE damage within your radius. Use Crystal Phoenix for the death immunity if ever the HP shield is gone and the skill is on cooldown. And then use Great Cosmo Shumai if needed so that they will stop attacking and moving even just for 3 seconds. I'm just waiting here for the disarm duration to end, and while waiting for it to wear off, if the weapon is plus 15 his damage will increase even more, due to its tier 5 effect, which doubles the effect of his passive skill, Ever Soul Knife, which increases his damage by 30%, and also equalizes his fire and water damage, to whichever element is higher. However, note that the elemental damage effect is not doubled by the tier 5 of the plus 15 weapon. By the way, remember to rebuff the Treasure Mountain Dragon Pot after 120 seconds for the 50% damage. And that's all for now guys. By the way, he is expected to come out on September 23rd for the SEA server, and then September 18th on global and EU servers. I hope you got some ideas for his skills in this video. Also don't forget to give a like or subscribe to stay tuned for more. See you guys again next time and thank you for watching.